For 16 years now, the Sohn Foundation has dedicated millions of dollars to the treatment of pediatric cancer. The funds raised by this conference have supported multiple institutions in the New York area. Through the years, we've introduced you to many of the children directly affected by our efforts. Last year, one of these children was Liam Witt. Unfortunately, a few months ago, little Liam lost his battle with cancer. He was six years old. Months before celebrating his third birthday, little Liam was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, a pediatric cancer of the nervous system. More children come to Memorial Sloan Kettering for neuroblastoma treatment than any other hospital in the country. Liam was one of them. Neuroblastoma is a malignancy that affects the nerve cells, specifically cells of the what we call the sympathetic nervous system. So um, it will involve organs like the adrenal glands and several of the nerve um, pathways uh, throughout the body. Because the cancer is considered rare, major pharmaceutical companies won't allocate the financing necessary for researching its cure. This is Dr. Nay Kong Chung, and he has his own innovative strategy for fighting pediatric cancers, including neuroblastoma. In children, and particularly those children with cancer, when they're going through chemotherapy, they don't have the ability to make those antibodies, um, but we can make it for them. So that's why we make these antibodies in a test tube um, and produce them, make them uh, clean and safe, and actually give it back to the, to the child. Uh, to help them fight the cancer. To make this drug more, more tolerable, uh, we have to make it into a human form. And that's really the Song Foundation come in. We are trying to jumpstart this program in the past year and a half to make this human form of the antibodies to allow us to now continue to give it to patients with brain metastasis and maybe to give it to other patients other than neuroblastoma who unfortunately also had developed some of the brain metastasis, because these medicines that we're developing is actually good for many tumors, not just for neuroblastoma. So as I look down the line, I think that we'll be hopefully curing cancer, but not at the same price that we were paying in the past. There'll be less damage to the body and all the mind, and children will be better off in the end. And we'll try to keep every child alive and make sure they're all cured of the cancer, and they'll be realizing the dreams that they have always had. The sustained funding of Dr. Chung's research helps him and his team to not only achieve major breakthroughs for neuroblastoma patients, but his research can be applied to other pediatric cancers as well. Despite Dr. Chung's tireless work, Liam finally succumbed to neuroblastoma this past January. Throughout the four years of his cancer treatment, he would visit the firefighters of Ladder Company No. 24, Engine 1. When he passed, these firefighters felt like they had lost one of their own. Yeah, I suppose what we do is considered brave and courageous. We know what we're getting into when we take the job and we try to prepare as much as we can. Liam went into something without being prepared. He was, he was uh, diagnosed with something that nobody should have to go through and especially somebody at that age, I can't stop learning from. I, I wish I only had half his courage and, and bravery. I consider him my, my little saint now uh, in my, my helmet at work, my fireman helmet. I actually keep a, keep a picture of him. It was actually from the, uh, from the ceremony. It's all wrapped up in plastic so it doesn't get wet. But I keep a picture of him in, in, my, uh, in my helmet now. Uh, and he's my little saint. He's my little guardian angel. He, he protects me. And that's, uh, so that's, that's why I think it's very important to keep his name going and, and uh, you know, that everybody knows the story about, about Liam and what a courageous little boy he was. Liam Whit may no longer be with us, but his memory and spirit lives on with those that knew him best. On behalf of this brave little boy, the Sohn Foundation intends to continue his fight. And thanks to your continued support, it is a battle that can someday be won.